commissioner or deputy commissioner, name one Canadian other than Justin Trudeau who can single-handedly block a criminal investigation. I'll give you some time to think about that. I can take that question immediately. I can say that there is not a single Canadian that can block an RCMP independent criminal investigation, period. Right. But Justin Trudeau did. Now, I'm looking at your conclusion and recommendation report into the SNC Lavalin matter, and I'm looking at paragraph 23, which you probably don't have before you. And I want to basically reiterate this so that Canadians can understand where this investigation is at. Although you reached a conclusion not to charge Justin Trudeau, you indicate in 23 that your report does not translate to the absence of a criminal offence. Should additional evidence be uncovered corroborating a criminal intent to obstruct, it would be recommended that the occurrence be reopened for further investigation. So if Justin Trudeau cooperated with you and released cabinet confidences, particularly in relation to the firing of Jody Wilson-Raybould, would that further your investigation? Mr. Chair, I, I'd, be, I'd be speculating on the type of information that was received. Uh, we operate in the process, in the judicial process, and uh, without having all the knowledge of the authority of the Prime Minister, I'll, I'll just leave it at that, but there are different uh, rules governing uh, different entities and processes. Brief last question, Mr. Block. Do I still have time? You've got one last question. Thank you. That doesn't answer the question. If Justin Trudeau released cabinet confidences to you, gave you full transparency, full accountability, would that be sufficient evidence for you to finally conclude whether or not reasonable and probable grounds exist to charge a sitting Prime Minister? Yes or no? If we had the totality of the information, Mr. Chair, we would be in a position to better assess the outcome of a file. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Attorney, on